Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place 13 Sentinels. Today we're going back to a Sekigahara story. <laughs> I'm assuming it probably is going to continue off from, uh... Actually, no, never mind. Looks I was like going to say from, uh, now. Tominator. I have to consider my next move. That's carefully. probably in a different timeline or story. Oh, okay, never mind. Just an ordinary cop. That's... Good story, bro. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC-0204. The same pills I take. I saw her at the school. But what business would an android have there? Android Besides, things? There was something Which different I'm pretty sure that's then. not the android. DD-426. Likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing? And why? Funsies! Come in. Hi. Are you there? That thing is so gigantic. <sighs> Found at the nurse's office where Chihiro Morimura worked. I know you can the label me. matches. I'm in the middle of thinking head. of something. Oral NM C0204. Pick up. Oh my god, you're so needy. Are you Iori? Iori? What? What do you want? It seems you found your way onto school ground. Yeah. High schooler. Unless you want to get caught, you shouldn't wander about. Too fucking bad. <sighs> what business did you have there? I wanted to learn more about the person I killed. Forgive me. I should have been transparent from the start. Did you see anyone else there? Did anyone see you? Oh, you know, Iori, Tomo, uh, Tomi. No. I'm just lying. I trust you. Partners don't lie to each other, after all. Yes, they do. Especially when we're not partners. Us. You really don't remember. You and I are working together to save everyone. I highly doubt that. Everyone. Even the one I murdered. That was a necessary action to prevent Operation Aegis. No one else has figured out the truth yet. Those who came from other sectors have been deceived. Well, I'm sure. And Morimura was the one behind it. Uh. There's no coming back after total annihilation. Well! And that was reason enough. It's why you agreed to take Could the be job. that were cockroaches. You don't know that. Oh Watch my god, up. are we cockroaches? You were tasked with retrieving information. It was to be extracted from a certain data unit. BJ? But circumstances have changed. That unit may jeopardize our escape. You must destroy it. It's likely hidden somewhere at Sakura High School. Can you just tell me not to go there? And it may be accompanied by another student. Match in. Seek out Natsuno Minami in Class 1C. Is that an order? Not at all. I'm merely presenting options. In the form of orders. The situation must be dealt with one way or another. Pretty sure if you do that, Yuki-chan's gonna don't. kill There's all of no you. Which I'm more up for than anything at this point. <sighs> now let's go back to thinking. It's Natsuno Minami. All I was told about her was her name and class number. She may be in the possession of that data unit. If not, she'll know where it is. Well, that's not true either. Or highly not. Oh shit! I, I wanted to think. But for now, I have to cooperate. It's my only shot at recovering my memories. Tomorrow, once classes are over, I wanted to think more. I'll pay a visit to the school. Okay. I didn't mean to select that. Well, I, w I was gonna select it eventually, but I wanted to think. It's basically the nanomachine equivalent of a virus program. Except it causes brain damage. There's viruses Infected that do that. ultimately lose their memories. Right? Or end up as husks of themselves. It's likely the cause of my memory loss. Well, I guess it... Maybe not directly. Maybe it's like a side effect of the virus and the damage it does. Well, that would still be linked to the virus, right? I'm sure there are viruses that like mess with blood vessels that could cause like a brain injury and that causes brain damage. And now 
Yeah, no shit, it's outdated. It's literally the size of your torso. Like, literally, the size of your torso. Like, Jesus Christ. A gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. Okay. The, the Natsunomi Nami. Wait, how'd she end up up here? She was the one who had that data unit. She seems to have a particular... Yeah, she's weird. Chihiro Morimura's objective. The medical records of three Sakura high school students. Shu Amiguchi, oh man, the hip is Jiro gonna be pissed. Izumi, and Ryoko Shinonome. They've all been administered a pill called NM. Oh, not medicine. I get it! Oh, no. Hey, Yori. Oh, Nachi, what happened to your cheek? Hey, oh, right, you got shot in the cheek, didn't you? What are you up to? I'm just waiting for someone. <clears throat> not me. Miwako and the others? No. Someone else? Ah, okay. Well, I'll see you later. This is gonna okay, be hilarious when I leave with Natchan. Hi. Nope. Hi. How's it going? Hello. Hi. God, it's like high school all over again. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hi. I don't want to talk to you. Can I walk out into traffic? Fine. Hey, Ikun. Were you waiting for me? Mm -hmm. Why? How would you know I, I wasn't was coming? Show up. You were just staying here because you're hoping you're a goddamn idiot. Uh, memories. I believe I owe you an apology. <sighs> uh, I see. Guess I'm not your. I. Lost my memories. Huh? Yesterday, I only pretended to know who you were. What? But there's a reason I wasn't honest. I still don't know who my enemies are. Well, technically, can trust you, you, you kill right? her in one form or the other. Seriously? Of course you can. Then I'm going to need your help. I need. I'm happy Matt to help. <laughs> She's but the one I love. Please me. help me, Yori. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm sorry. God, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> uh, Do you know a first year by the name of Natsuno Minami? Nachan? Yeah, she was just here. She's the one I was talking to before you showed okay, up. Okay, can you answer the question, why doesn't she wear pants? That girl in gym clothes. She's probably gone by now. Hey, I try to follow her. Do you know Nachan? Trying no. to? Not at all. I have two more. A uh, cryptic note. Have you ever seen this note before? Hmm. I don't think so. Miwa! Hi, Miwa! Yuri-chan! Oh, hey, Miwa-chan. <gasps> Hi. I'm a murderer. Oh, what? Chill out, Miwa-chan. So... Are things going well with you two? No. Oh, well, uh, I'm not sure. They're going pretty bad. <laughs> pretty sure this How is going to end up on the back? news one day. Huh? No, oh, you didn't go to second, did you? Already, yuri -chan? You move fast. Are you done? Do they have the baseball <gasps> system in I'm Japan, sorry. too? I'm doing it again, aren't I? Classic Miwa-chan. Well, anyway, just keep at it. Uh, thanks. What are you holding, by the way? Is oh, the baseball this? system still a thing? I'm trying to figure out what these <laughs> numbers mean. Now that I think about it, it's been a long time since I was in high school. But is, is it? Is it oh, still? I think they know what these are for. First, second, third, home run. You know what these numbers mean? Y yes, I think so. Please tell me. They're for the telephone message service, I think. Their phone it numbers? Just started last month. Oh, where you can leave messages over the phone? Mm hmm My mom uses it. Voicemail. Whenever she works late, she leaves me a message. Uh, why don't I get out of your hair? You're not in my hair. My hair's very short. You got this, Yoi-chan. Oh, I mean, Wait, really, she doesn't, but I assume the game's gonna make her have it. Service, huh? 
Uh, memories. I never said anything to you about them, did I? About my memories, I mean. Nope. You tend to pop up out of nowhere when I do see you. And when you do, you never really stick around long. Yeah, it's like I'm hiding from people. Although, the last time I saw you, you had this look in your eyes. Like you really had something to say. I thought you were going to say I had a glazed look Maybe in my eye. Maybe you were planning on telling me then. What, no? Maybe. Oh, Megumi. Hi, Megumi. Where you going, Megumi? Bye, Megumi. Jiro, hi, Jiro. Later for you, Sakasan. Oh, Karabe kun. See you later. Where are you going, Jiro? That's Jiro Izumi. Yakushiji. Oh, oh, wow, she's not talking to you? Holy shit. She's the one receiving nano machine treatment. And she's the one who aimed a gun at my head. Well, that should be regular occurrence she's by now. She's definitely up to something. Hi. Bye! Follow them. Hey, no, you stay here. Where are you going? There's something I need to do. <sighs> ah, true love. Could she be connected to the ones chasing after me? Guess there's only one way to find out. That's right, be a creepy stalker. For some odd reason, I thought that was gonna say to be continued there. It felt it like a to be continued. On the nameplate. Do they both live here together? Oh, don't tell anyone that. Apparently we'll get expelled. Examine. The table's set for three. Miyura-kun? Dinner's already- Hi! <laughs> so we meet again. <sighs> it's easy when you're the one holding the gun, isn't it? Yeah? But not so much when you're staring down the barrel. Staring down the me, barrel of a fortified- You said that I asked you to shoot me. What did you mean by that? That's just what I was told. Who ordered you to shoot me? Probably the imaginary cat. Tell me everything you know. I... Stop! No, wait! You shouldn't startle me like that. Unless you want to die, then. Yeah, you is. really should have threw a knife. Jiro. Just who do you think you are? You can't barge into someone's house without permission. This is true. Very illegal. I remember you. You're the one who shot that robot at Tokisaka Shrine. What? Wait, did we see that? This is between me and her. I don't think we've seen that yet. We might have saw that. This Jiro Izumi. Izumi? You've got it all wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. Whoever you are, get out of my way. No? Okay, never mind. Juro! He's not dead. I only stunned him. Doesn't look that stunned to me. I still want an explanation. Why don't you just ask for yourself? The brains behind the whole thing is sitting on the TV. The TV? Well, I guess we're doing this whole thing now. A cat? That's imaginary, but here. No way. You are not a talking cat. Oh, you get used to it. There must be some trick to it. The only trick here is my unrivaled genius. Cats aren't stupid, unlike humans. Especially I watched my cat you. walk headfirst into the sentinel. door the other day. You thought you could escape the game? To be fair, she was looking at me for a little bit when she was walking, and then she hit the door, but you know, they're not that bright either. Game? Are you talking about the fight against the kaiju? Sure am. All you could ever think about was running away. But it looks like you came around eventually. Megumi, get your gun and shoot him now. He's not looking. New information? Yeah, you know. The unshakable truth. That's why you came crawling back. And begged me to put you back in the game. I did? The gun she aimed at you is a nanomachine injector. Anyway, as promised, I'll let you back onto the battlefield. When you say all I could think of was running away, do you mean I was trying to escape from this world? Or battle. Could be a coward. Who knows? Then what did you mean by new information? Man, you really don't remember a thing, do you? 
You can always ask, you know. Maybe the guy behind you knows something. Oh, yeah! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stop on his knee! Sekigahara? Miura? Uh, did you say... Miura? Grab his leg and stomp on his knee! Why do you guys never go for the knee? It's, it's like one of the eat. I don't know. <laughs> Forget I was saying anything. <laughs> the like, joints, you just go for the joints and it's fine. It's not gonna kill him. I mean, you could also, like, maybe if you break the bones, get an artery, but this is not. You go over the knee. Hi. Oh, hello. Was that again. your surprise gasp? So, are you. Are you. 426? Or are you the one before. Updating the data for Sentinel number 17 as well? No. For all third generation Sentinels, actually. Tomosan. Just know, I don't intend to report what you told me. Okay. However, Thanks. I don't know what you're talking about. I suggest you stop poking your nose where it doesn't belong. I got a big nose. I'm afraid I can't do that. Now, I need a favor from you. If anything happens to me. I want you to keep my line open. Uh, fine. So this is before. That's probably before Jiro lost his memories. Hey, Miura. Oh no, that's Miura. That's I Miura. I saw Karabe at the Sentinel number eighteen lift too. Who is she? Is she also from the future? She's Sentinel number 18. Oh, I thought that was Juro for a second. But I thought only AI could operate Sentinel number 18. She is an AI? I noticed you didn't refer to me by number. You used my real name. That means we're dating now. Well, you did say you were a human once. Oh, this is before he became BJ. So you believe me? Listen, Sekigahara. I have some matters to discuss with you. Oh, it says AI right there. You got awfully serious. What is it? Let's talk face to face. Raise the lift so no one else can disturb us. Lift? Lift. Raise the... No, you don't... Never mind. I'm out. See you later. Done with this shit. Okay. Fine. Just hear a poor mechanic screaming because he's caught in the lift. I've got the perfect view of your face from up here. Yeah. You need Quite plastic imposing. surgery. Anyway, what is it? Remember the conversation about the mainframe? That's the computer in the underground UFO, right? Right. It turns out it was created in the year 2188. That's even further in the future than Ida and the others. I actually thought this was like I'm the Zale Kingdom the theme song playing for a second. I spent a lot of time analyzing the mainframe's data. That's when I found a massive report on this so-called 2188. I've only managed to decode a portion of it so far. Once I'm done, we'll find out what set this all into motion. Who knows? We might even find a way to save the world. Really? Have they played this theme before? Oh, it sounds really familiar. The flutes do. Now, on to the real issue. That might not be flutes, but flute-like sounds. Not familiar. I'm positive Chihiro Morimura was the one who did it. Which one? Morimura. Child, agent, nurse, if Iori. I guess. There are some things she didn't want us to find out. I thought she came here to help save this world. It definitely seemed that way. But as it turns out, she has ulterior motives. 
There has to be a way for you to access it. I've tried everything. It's impossible. So there's nothing we can do? <sighs> I'm going to let you in on something. Cool! Something even Tamao-san doesn't know about. There's one more data log. The one I copied to my brain. So you created a backup. And it's stored in the memory of Sentinel number 17? That's right. But if Morimura finds it, I know she'll erase we'll it. Make more backups! Upload it to yeah, the internet! She probably isn't the only one who wants it erased. That's why I'm asking for your help. If this Sentinel suffers extensive damage, please recover the memory block at all costs. Dog, copy it to other places. Comes, Widespread that shit. I won't let you down. By the way, what brought you here in the first place? Oh. Oh. Well, I came to update your system. It won't take oh, long. if you delete him, that's gonna be hilariously and Second like Gaara. just awful. <laughs> yeah. We're friends, right? No, I don't like machines. Delete. <sighs> Miura. Of course we are. Ah, to be continued there. Sakigahara story, fifty percent. Still unlocked. What were we supposed to do back here? Phaser! Okay. Barely know her, though. Love and friendship. Are you in love with Mira? Maybe! Uh, Phaser, cryptic note. Um, well, yeah, let's go. Right. Well, eh, we'll go back. We'll do a little extra long episode today, I guess. Probably should have ended it there, had a battle. Looks like I've lost them for now. It looks like I'm lost in general. I have to consider my next moves carefully. Probably get dinner. <sighs> yeah, just the cop. Uh, phaser. Now that I think about it, this is the same gun that android was using. Yeah, that's what you said. The one from the future. Yeah. Hey, you! Oh, hi! <laughs> Don't mind the gun! What were you just holding? Show me right now. Shoot him in the junk. Bye bye Awfully suspicious behavior. No! Damn it! Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> scene of the crime. Never return to the scene of the crime. Second like guy. Managed to lose that cop. Uh, phaser? No. A gun from the. There's. These numbers are uh. for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. Okay, so... All that running, and I end up back here. Yeah, you really shouldn't come here. Morimura's death hasn't been made public yet. Those black suits must have disposed of the body. Or ate her. Okay. Let's say I did kill her. At that point, they were already coming after me. Did I lure Morimura out here? Maybe. It just doesn't add up. The garbage I or a water find some good clues here before, but I'm still not sure what some of them mean. And when you say clues, these numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. Okay. I don't know why we couldn't. This key I had on. Fast me. forward. It has some kind of emblem on it. Is it a Hyundai Was emblem? I driving a car. It kind of looks like a. The Honda appears to be a button. Press it. Press it. Mm. Oh, is it the motorcycle? Well, I pressed it. Just gets hit by the, the motorcycle. The car made a sound, though. Maybe it's somewhere further away. All right. Um, go through the trash. Could find something worth something in there. Or food. Want to go down the manhole? Don't go. Don't. Don't. Hey! How in the world did this motorcycle get here? I pushed the button. Did it come when I pressed the button on the key? Yeah! Voice authentication verified. 
A key is required to unlock this vehicle. Well, I got one right here. It's voice activated too? Is this a self-driving motorcycle? Oh, sweet, because I hate driving in general. Uh, here you go. Vehicle unlocked. You may issue commands using your voice. Bring me Please to Wendy's. Hey, who do you belong to? Me, right? Registered drivers of the Shikishima SXR and R. A Sekigahara and Chihiro Morimura. Which one? Me and Morimura? Oh, is it gonna be that like Morimura, Morimura wanted to kill her or something like that? It looks like I've used this motorcycle before. Then it must know where I've taken it. To Yori's house, I think. I'm guessing you have a travel log, right? Can you pull it up? Displaying travel log. It's like I can't read this. Looks like I've taken this thing all around the city. But there are only two places I've visited multiple times. Aside from Sakura High, it's just this one other spot. Set this location as your destination? I guess. Yes. Let's hit the road. I always like motorcycles. But man, do I fear crashing one. Hey, did I leave anything with you? Invalid request. <laughs> Please specify. I want to know if I left behind any messages. Two logs found from A. Sekigahara. Seriously? Begin playback? Yeah. Yeah. Show me. So, did you find the suspension it? on that bus is My, actually awful. Well, your intuition was right. I'm leaving this message as a precaution. Just in case I lose my memory sooner than I expect. You've still got work to do if you want to escape this world. You must acquire the data logs from 2188. One more thing. And this takes priority over all else. Avoid Iori. She's Can't weird. Chihiro Morimura execute Operation Aegis. She holds a position as a nurse at Sakura High School. Okay, so maybe she didn't want to be but killed there. false pretenses. Stop her at all costs. My headaches are getting worse. I'm running out of time. In any case, some interesting developments have come up. I've confirmed that Iori Fuyusaka was able to use the gate. I checked the log she left behind. The ID she used was Morimura's biometric ID. Yeah, because that's it's her. Iori Fuyusaka is Chihiro Morimura. Knowing this, do I still try to stop Operation Aegis? That's the real question. So this is before well, Iori confess. Is, is that right? No, it can't be. Isn't it? Complete. Yeah, it can't be before because she was waiting at school. Oh, you suck up. Is more and more. Oh, you didn't know that. How is that possible? Cloning. And what did I decide to do? Or androids. <sighs> or multiverse theory? I don't really know, to be quite honest. Destination reached. Oh, Okino's place. So this is the place. Now what am I gonna find here? Probably Okino. Maybe Taka? We get 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 that gun ready, because I'm sure Taka will actually choke slam you. Locked. This factory has to be what I'm here for. We don't know that. You wanna break through the window? I mean, okay, look. The windows are already pretty broken, actually. We could actually probably just crawl on one of them. You're kind of thin enough for it. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm chonky. Hi, Taka. Are you gonna choke slam me? Well, look who we have here. Sekigahara. Here to cause some more trouble? Yes? <sighs> Something wrong? No, nothing. I just don't know who you are. Uh, let me guess. You finally lost your memories, right? Uh, how... 
How did you know? Give me two guesses on that one. Just by the way you're acting. Kind of a dead giveaway. I'm surprised you even made it back here. I hope you know. Do you know what I was trying to do here? Taka, what were you two doing in there? That's odd. Okay. <laughs> you're in my way. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I was at the base of the stairs. And you are? Hmm. It didn't work. I suppose 32% wasn't enough. 30% what? You recognize me, don't you? No. I don't. That can't be. Oh. <laughs> Focus. Hey, Okino. Okay, you can only do that to me. Take a good look at my face. I know you can remember. Remember, I guess. Wait. No. This can't be. What, giant robot? Uh, is this before you knew the, what sentinels were? Oh, I had a green thing. Shit. A third generation model. Uh, no, so you do know what those Sentinel are. Sentinel number 19. Oh, but you're from the future and you so didn't know they were here. Okay. Is this a hanger for sentinels? It could be a hanger for anything, really. As long as it fits, it works. Uh, don't take that out of context. It's basically the nano machine equivalent of a virus program. Except it pills the android gave me in the underground facility in 2104. They slow the effects of DD426. Cool. All right. Hi. Awfully persistent, aren't you? No, I just waited Fine. here. You got me. So it like blocked off on the other end? I know it's you, Okino. Yeah? Even in this outfit, you managed to catch me. Have you been in hiding ever Why since? Why were you the blushing? <laughs> just laying low in Sector 5? Uh, 426? I need to stop the effects of DD-426. You're an expert on the subject, aren't you? I am indeed. It's a code that was distributed on the battlefield. Do you know who's responsible for spreading it? A Sekihara? <sighs> no. Right. This is exactly why I went into hiding. Because I can't trust anyone. And that includes you, A. Sekigahara. You were on the battlefield too. Yet you're not showing any symptoms. I could say the same about you. Well, he is. I'm taking pills to help reduce the symptoms. Pills? What are you- <sighs> oh, Pills, right, sorry. Pills! These. I see. These serve as additional code for priority processing. These aren't going to save me. Of course they won't. All you're doing is buying yourself some time. Now, aren't we all? What about you? You're completely healthy. There must be some way to stop it, right? I'm afraid that's impossible. <gasps> oh, are you a robot? It was about a year ago. I discovered a code created by 426. The aptly named DD-426. I tested it on myself in an attempt to detach the decode. <gasps> that seems... Which resulted in the loss of my memories. Highly dangerous. That's why I was unaffected on the battlefield. Well, at least you didn't turn into a husk, I guess. That can't be true. You don't seem like you've lost your memories at all. That's because I transferred my memories to my nanomachines. And I was able to create Smart? a simulated personality. It carries all the qualities that make up my identity. Okay, so you did become a husband because your nanobots had your memories and personality stores. You were able to kind of offset it? Let me get this straight. You're a program that's simulating Okino? Initially, yes. But now that I've been affixed to the brain... I've become the true Tsukasa Okino. Okay. I possess the original Okino's personality and memories. You can't even tell the difference. True. But you're still not the same. Yeah. The Okino from before was different. Human beings are constantly evolving. Well. 
Whether we retain our memories Some would say they're de-evolving at some point. We're never the same as our past selves. My goodness. Your pursuit of me caused quite the panic. Professor Doji wants to have me restrained. And now that you've caught me, maybe it's time I gave up. Oh, perfect timing. <gasps> Hijiyama-kun, over here! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Dude, you should probably start running. What's going on? Th that man! Hey, who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Please, make him go away. Permanently. Hold it, Okino! Not so fast, you bastard! You're coming with me! This is highly classified material, and you've seen too much. Damn you, Okino! Yeah, that's probably smart. <laughs> Okino. I remember now. Sukasa Okino. We met in Sector 5. Good. And you're an AI construct. Huh? Is that all? You've neglected to remember some rather important details. Like what? Let's try this again. <laughs> Okino, it's like, please stop doing that. Do you really have to stand so close? Yeah, to you can him? only stand that close to me. <laughs> Don't pay him any mind. He's just jealous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now concentrate, Aseki Gahara. Try to remember why you kept coming back here. Try to undo my memories. Takas just there, like, do you have any, like, yakas, like, yakisoba rolls, or whatever the hell they're called? How are you feeling? My head feels like it's about to split in half. What about the pills? They aren't working. But you've taken so many of them already. They still aren't helping? I mean, you can build up resistance to medicine. I actually had to switch over some of my medicine recently, and... We're ready to go. I don't know if it's making me lightheaded oh. or what, but I'm hoping it goes away soon. And I'm hoping this is not just like me recording like before his you. death. <laughs> you seemed very oh, that would reluctant suck. to go through with this at first. But now you've come to rely on this plan. So what changed your mind? Probably the headaches. Nothing changed. I still think this is terrible. But there are some things I don't want to forget. Like that vile face of yours. I'll be sure to preserve that memory <laughs> for you. The me. Walk me through the steps once more. Sure. First, I'll input a memory extraction code into you. Your memories can be saved at any time. Your consciousness itself, though, can't be saved. Then a simulated personality will... All I need is for you to save my memories. I don't want some AI taking over me. A simulated personality will think the same way you do. It'll be able to work together with your own brain. In other words, it will act as a support to your brain. Maybe you shouldn't say a simulated personality. Your relationship is symbiotic. It'll teach your brain new ways to think and solve problems. But you will still be in charge of decision making. That's probably what you should have started out with. I just... I hate myself. Fair enough. I hate you too. I really don't need a well, that's probably personality. <laughs> I'm actually all right with all him right. for the most part right now. In that case, I'll simply extract your memories. After your memories are extracted, they'll be stored in your nano machines. I'll configure it so when the decode region is detached, your memories will be backed up. We'll require an intracerebral map to save your memories. Though it'll all be pointless if you end up as a husk. Oh, okay, so you can't become a husk, but you just have to lose all your, your memories. Your brain did have more damage than anticipated. My equipment can only do so much. I'll only I be able to map roughly 30% of the there. region per scan. 
so you'll have to make multiple trips. Let's get started, shall we? Please, take a seat. Where? Sit down? Oh, there's a chair there behind me. I'm going to create your intracerebral map. We'll start with some word exercises. Spell Try the... Try listing any words starting with A Ass. that come to mind. As you say each word, imagine the object in your head. Already done! A. Apple. Asphalt. Oh, I gotta keep going? Anchor. Arnold Schwarzenegger. To be continued. Oh, now you're locked. Natsumi's a missing memory. Alright, you're at 71%. Is there anyone else unlocked? No. Um, well, we can go back to Juro or Ryoko or Yuki. Yuki has the lower amount. Oh, well, Tominator has uh, 37%. So doesn't uh, Nenji. Actually, Taka. Oh, we should probably do Nenji then and then do Taka. Taka's at 14%. All right, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.